Welcome to week 12 of Fire Academy. Training this week was all about RIT scenarios. RIT stands for Rapid Intervention Team, and that's a team that goes inside during major incidents if there's a firefighter that is downed. And the recruits actually performed a very cute rescue earlier this week, so we're gonna start off this video with a rabbit RIT scenario. Say hi to your sister. Hi. You guys are okay. Oh <laughs> Be free, bunny rabbits. So that was obviously an unplanned animal rescue. Some of the recruits were able to get those two baby bunnies out of a training building on our drill ground. So back to some of the specifics of what happened this week. The recruits did some buddy breathing in the maze. They also worked on drags and carries with victims as well as downed firefighters. And they did bailouts using kits and ladders. But most of this week was spent here at this acquired structure in our district. There's a ton of rooms in here. So they did search, rescue, as well as Mayday operations. I am Instructor Diggs, one of the recruit training officers for Academy 19-1, and today was the culmination of their RIT week for a RIT operation per se to take place. We've got a Mayday situation that's at least one down firefighter and that's where this entire process starts to take place. The goal is the person that calls the Mayday um, tries to save themselves and then it's the crew that's around them or a neighboring crew. So we've got kind of an inside out uh, model for what would be a RIT procedure. The main thing they got to remember when they're in these dark locations is some sort of situational awareness as well as understand where they are in the building. That's why we like them to stay on hose lines or their uh, search rope or find a wall that they're searching off of so that they can get back in and they're using their ticks to aid them in those searches to make them faster. Brad Lingle, I'm a captain with South Metro Fire Rescue. Today we're doing a series of uh, firefighter self-survival skills. There has been an emergency in the building and we need to exit that building immediately. And we're not just on the first floor. We're on a third, second, fourth floor. Um, and we, are we find a window and we have to exit that window rapidly. One of our stations is a bailout system, which we keep in our uh, gear at all times. It is 50 feet long. Um, and we can deploy that from a window and roll out of the window and kind of rappel down the side of the building with the system that's provided with us. If we're bailing out of the 10th story of a building, um, that's not gonna reach the ground, but at least it might get us out of that environment to a safer location outside of the building where someone can later bring a ladder to us. The other skill we're doing today is called a headfirst ladder bailout. 
Uh, that's if a ladder is placed at a window and we have to exit that room immediately because of some kind of hostile fire event. The other thing we're working on today is what we call a high point. It's where we change the ladder's location from the bottom of the sill to the top of the sill. And then we use a, a small rope, a utility line, that we throw down to our partner who's below um, and kind of create a mechanical advantage so that when we bring the victim up to the windowsill, hook them up to that rope and essentially push them out, and then the person down at the bottom of the ladder uh, repels them down safely to the ground. Uh -huh. 